How many? A lot. Uniforms everywhere. You see Sean? No. I don't think so. Damn it. Where's Trelawney? Who knows? Hey. Mm. Where is that little Irish best? I'm not quite sure. Trelawney's off trying to find out. Has anyone been in the black water to see how things lie? Place is crawling with Pinkertons, bounty hunters, and ah. pictures of Dutch and Hosea. Oh, well, he got a lot of money sitting in that town. And that's where it's gonna remain for now. Why haven't they hanged Sean, I wonder? I think he's bait. Well, they wanna trial him publicly. Gentlemen, Sean is being moved up the upper Montana, then to a federal prison out west. Damn. Well, we can't be rescuing people from some federal prison. We either rescue him now or we cut him loose. We're not cutting anyone loose. Of course not. Ike Skeldings, boys, are moving him to a camp nearby before handing him over to the government. So, I guess... We need to stop them before they get to camp. Charles, why don't you head up on the north side? And then we'll head up on the other side of the valley and meet you. That way we have them in either direction. Javier, Josiah, come on. Let's go see. You know, Arthur, the government, or people whom the government like, seem to be very angry. Sure, well, we'll rescue Sean and then we'll get ourselves lost, good and proper. It's a big country. I hope so. Follow me. Let's see if we can track down this boat. Keep your eyes open for Pinkertons. They got patrols out all over this area. Yes. South of the river, West Elizabeth isn't a very welcoming place right now. It's definitely as bad as we feared in there, Arthur. I keep hearing about this woman, Heidi McCourt. Some young mother, they're saying, Dutch murdered on the boat. I don't know about that. I wasn't there. Bad day. There, look. I think that's our boat. All right, gentlemen. Follow me. Keep your guns away until we know it's Sean, okay? I know what you two are like. You think they can see us? If they can, we're just three fellas out on the trail. Act natural. We'll be fine. So, you've been gone for a while. Much as I love dodging the law and sleeping in the dirt with you derelicts, I do have other business to attend to. What happened in New York? You know how life is. Another straight road anywhere. Especially with you. Nice to know I'm missed, though. Have you run out of people to rob? Oh, we'll never run out of people to rob. But without me, you'll not find the caliber of victim that I find. Maybe. <laughs> Anyway, we should keep it down. Come on, let's keep them in sight. You all right, Javier? You're quiet. He hasn't stopped talking since we left you in Valentine. It's the longest ride of my life. Cute, dear boy. Very cute. Push up, come on. Apparently, there's a camp somewhere around here where the bounty hunters meet and transfer before continuing out west. I imagine that's where they're headed.
we've stopped. All right, let's take a closer look. Binoculars, gentlemen? So who are these bounty hunters? I don't know too much about Ike Skeldon's boys, but I hear they're a big crew, and wild, built some reputation in the last year or two. That looks like Sean to me. Certainly kicking up enough of a fuss. Yep, that's definitely Sean. Oh, they're giving him a decent kicking. Well, you can only imagine the shit he's been giving them. Oh, yes. They're taking him up the canyon. There's Charles on the other side. Let's go. What about the other two down there? I've got an idea. Follow me. Sneak across and do the dirty on them. Okay. Crouch down out of sight. Take out your knife. Wait. In the river. Wait until he's got them off guard before crossing. Gentlemen, excuse me, dear brothers, my wife is taken ill, gravely ill. What's the problem? It's dear Bessie. You take the one on the left. Where is okay, she? come on, stay low. I, I'm beside myself. I, if I lose, if I lose Bessie, I lose everything. Oh, calm down, mister. I, I, I can't, I can't, I, I'm having a fit. <laughs> Okay, let's get after him. A pleasure as always, gentlemen. I think you have it from here. Come on. We got two halfway up the canyon to deal with. Okay, you mean all those boots you got there, eh? Well, they're very nice. Who's the guy you got them from? Is he alive still? Yeah. Come on, focus. Oh. Come on! We need to get past these sons of bitches!
two more. Look out! Here's Charles. All good? Wouldn't go that far. The camp's up this way. Come on. Charles, you take the right. I'll go left. Okay. Let's take these into the putas! Damn army of these bastards! How much is Sean's bounty? more show up. Hey, what are y'all doing? Arthur. <laughs> you know, you're a lot less ugly from that other angle, Arthur. Come on. <laughs> Do I get a hug, Arthur? A warm embrace for a lost brother now found. You know, nothing means more to me than this gang. The bond we share. It's the most real thing to me. I would kill for it, I would happily die for it. But in spite of all of that, I would have easily left you here to rot if Charles hadn't stopped me. I don't believe a word of that, Arthur. Get him out of here. You're a great man, Arthur Morgan. The kind of young whippersnapper can really admire. Oh, shut up. Right, we should split up. Javier, will you escort Mr. McGuire back to camp? Charles, best you ride separately. Be careful. There's patrols everywhere. What about you? I'm gonna see what's worth taking here. I'll meet you back there as soon as I can. All right. Okay, come on. <laughs> Have I got stories for you? Yeah, I can't wait. <clears throat> well, I imagine y'all missed me a lot. But fear not, the joy's back in your lives now.
Don't understand this at all. Hey, over here. What's the problem? Problem? No, there's no problem. Quite the contrary. Well, there is a problem for me, but not for you. All right. <laughs> I ain't got time for no, this. No, well, no, wait. Give me a minute of your life. I might just change it forever. I'm sure you will have heard of me. Maximo Cristobal Valdespino, the renowned explorer. Can't say I have. There has been much written about me. I once had high tea with the Viceroy of India. I helped liberate South America. I've climbed mountains and swum across seas. I have had many women. I've spent the last three months hunting treasure on the American frontier. Beautiful country reminds me a lot of Almeria. But tomorrow I set sail for the island of Shikoku in the Japanese archipelago in search of the legendary Tokushima Sapphire. Huh. Well, good for you. No, no, hold on. You see this map here? It was made by the Jack Hall gang. They robbed banks all the way from here to California. Yeah, I know who the Jack Hall gang are. Oh, them you have heard of, but me? Huh. Well, uh, rumor has it they buried gold somewhere in this area, but were killed before they could retrieve it. They created two maps to ensure it was well hidden. This is the first and should lead you to the second. You just need to follow the landmarks drawn here. Me? Yes. Unfortunately, I am out of time now, but I am prepared to sell it to you for the low price of... <gasps> Ten dollars. A trifling investment for a man such as you, given the potential returns. Ah, uh, what the hell? Why not? A very wise investment. I wish you the best of luck.
there, girl.
Good job, girl. You seem in a good mood. I am, son. I am. Let's have some fun. Tonight. Let's enjoy ourselves. Are we having a party? Maybe. Just a little one. Great. We're back home now. Mr. McGuire. So everything's going to be okay. Come on. Uncle Sean is back. And don't you worry, Miss Grimshaw, you old crone. I'll keep them girls in line. If I have to whip them, I will. And you get a bump on the head. <sighs> and don't you worry, Mr. Pearson, you drunk old shitbag. It'll be nothing but the, the finest game in the pot. Now, Deadeye Maguire's back. <laughs> and don't worry about nothing, Mrs. Grimshaw. We'll have this camp running like clockwork. <sighs> I love you bastards. <laughs> have fun. Have we lots of fun! <laughs> yeah, come on, let's on it. It. Even you, you grumpy old bastard, Arthur. Uh-oh, here comes trouble. I just can't get rid of you, can I? Mind if I join you fine folks? <laughs> I suppose. You're looking lovely as ever, if I may say so. Oh, stop it. Imagine riding with him all the way from Blackwater to here. Of hell after you and all the angels of vengeance alongside them, but a warm fire and you feel all is okay. <laughs> He'll be drinking till dawn now, what like that? Oh, oh, let him have some friend. fun. <laughs> He's been through a lot. I thought you Irish enjoyed a party, Molly. I oh, am yeah, enjoying it. I just don't need to fall over drunk with the rest of them. <laughs> you know this one, don't you? Go join in. Finally. group of fellas that spent every waking minute just dreaming of leaving and and then they left and then they jumped back in again stupid you know what that, that taught me something and 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 it taught me something i will never forget and that's that most fellas are sheep that's right and and if you can tell the difference between a the, the difference between a sheep and a, a, a sheep and, and a man, then you, you, well, you, the, you, that makes you a better man than me, sir. And that's all I'm saying. Mark my words, all of you, mark my words. Stinking army. Stop thinking you're angry and sad. Well, what you think of me? <laughs> sad in a good way, like a romantic poet. Uh, well, that's <laughs> about all I can muster. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. 
feels like ages since we've done this. Things are on the up again. Fine. Mr. Morgan. I'm not quite sure. Oh. This keeps happening. How are you doing, Mrs. Adler? <sighs> Not really in the party mood. I understand. Okay, I'll catch you later then. If you say so. As loud a mouth as ever. Ah, oh, you can talk. Soft and round like a pussy cat. Got a hole in the middle and it's split in two. And that's what you call the ring dang do. Her father come in angrily said, Now you have lost your mate in your head. Pack your bag and coat tags too. Make your living off a ring dang do. The ring dang do. Now what is that? It's soft and round like a pussy cat. Got a hole in the middle and it's split in two. That's what you call the ring dang do. She went off to be a whore, hung this sign upon her door. A dollar each and three for two. They can crack the ring dang doo, ring dang doo. Now what is that? Salty and round like a pussy cat. Got a hole in the middle and it's split in two. And that's what they call ring dang doo. 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 You're a dirty man. Yeah.
now. <laughs> I just wanted a boa. <laughs> a fancy boa I could dance with. That's all I want. If I had a boa, I'd be a happy woman. I'd, I'd be a lady. I'd, I'd finally be a lady. <laughs> <laughs> you make a great lady. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm gonna be a little bit ill. How's it going? Well, still alive. Good for you. Lanny. Good morning, Arthur. Hey. What you preparing for? The greatest of gifts. An unguarded stagecoach. No, you simple-minded fool. Bison. Bison? Bison. From which you can get anything. There's some over on the plains, I believe. I saw a couple a long way off. Oh. Right? Good luck. You want to come with me? I'll show you how we hunt one. Sure. Why not? Mount up, then. Let's go. Let's go, girl. You know, it was before my time, of course, but my mother used to tell me stories of how her tribe moved with the bison. They lived almost as one. The bison went, my people went. And they were the center of all life. We couldn't survive without them. They provided us with everything. Food, clothing, shelter, tools. There was a lot of respect. Huh? I don't remember much of my childhood, but I think my people, well, we pretty much moved with the whiskey. <laughs> well, my father did that too. Let's try over here, to the left. Over there. You see them all? Incredible, aren't they? We should only kill one of them. I'll keep them ringed in and you see if you can bring one down. Okay? Clean as you can. Okay.
and butcher it. Take the horns, too. It can all be used. Good job. Stow that on your horse and mount up. I wanna go check something out. Okay, let's go. Where are we going? I thought I saw some scavenger birds over here. Just wanted to see what attracted them. No! Look! Bison. Shot and left for dead, it looks like. Why would someone do that? I don't know. But I see tracks heading in this direction. I say we follow them. Alright. Lead the way. Could it have been an animal? No, they've been shot. Don't know why anybody would just leave them here to rot like that. Look, another dead bison. On the hill to the right. Come on. Shot and left for dead again. But this one looks fresher. There's a camp there. I'm gonna take a look. since they left. Bison's been dead about the same amount of time. So what do you want to do? They could still be in the area. Let's get up higher, see if we spot anything. Come on, girl. Should have a good view from up here. Okay. You see anything? There's be some smoke to the east. Maybe another camp. It's worth a look. All right. Let's go. I don't kill for fun. I kill when I need to. Look, more dead bison. It has to be them. Come on, wait up. Shoot those bison. What's your problem? I said, did you fools shoot those bison? Calm down, you black or red bastard, whatever the fuck you are. Did you shoot them? Yes, we did. We shot them bison. We'll shoot you too if you don't get. What business is it of yours? What? We. <gasps> it's that business of mine! Good God, you're crazy! I got a family. A family. 
Don't shoot me. Stand back, Charles. I'll get you some answers. What the hell are you doing? Why are you killing those bison and leaving them to rot? I don't know what you're talking about. God damn it, tell us or you're dead. Oh, okay. We were paid to kill as many as we could and make it look like it was Indians. Just kill him, Arthur. No, oh, please, don't kill me. I'm begging you. I've heard enough. Damn right. That's what he deserved. I've seen enough of this. I'm heading back. Okay. I'm gonna see if there's anything worth taking from their camp. I'll catch up with you later.
Hey! Once an old Driscoll, always an old Driscoll. What's your problem? I already proved myself. That's right, girl. Well, all you proved is uh, how quickly you'll turn on your friends. It ain't like that. I have some money. Morning, Arthur. You always do. <laughs> yes, I'm good at that. Uh, I feel like death. run out of meat here soon if we're not careful. Just make sure it goes into the pot, not your pot. I know. Well done, Mr. Morgan. We are out of this. We need to keep out of this. So what do you think? We need to make some money. Might as well make some money off it. Good job, Mr. Morgan. Then we will find I should know better. We are gonna be okay. I agree. We'll get some big money and get lost. <laughs> 